Hi, and welcome to ArcSight Logger Report. In this demo, we'll discuss what queries are, how you can create query objects, and advanced steps to transform your data. Queries in Logger Reports are entities that communicate with data sources to extract your desired data. Query objects, comprised of queries bundled with additional metadata, are used as the basis for designing reports. Logger reporting provides a set of pre-built queries which are used as the basis for the system-defined reports and solution reports to address common security use cases. Now I'm opening the ArcSight Logger portal. In Logger reports, you can browse and open existing query objects in Explorer here. You can use one of the provided query objects as is, as the basis for your own reports, or design new query objects on the query object page. You can also use existing query objects as a starting point for new ones. I recommend you create a copy of an existing query object and edit this copy to create a new one. To create new query objects from scratch, click Queries under Design. This is the Query Object Designer page. The Steps pane lists the steps that you can apply for transforming data. On the Transformation window, you can drag and drop steps to apply them. You can specify properties with respect to steps and review their effect on the data in the Results tab. Let's call this query object TestQO and save it. I recommend you save the query object in between performing tasks so you don't lose your settings as you're working. Let me show you how you can apply different steps. The first step is to get your data. The data source brings data into the query object from the logger database or an existing query object. In the properties of data source, specify if you want to fetch data from a new source or from an existing query object. If you choose an existing query object, it will not affect that query object. Let's fetch data from a new source here. Logger reporting helps you fetch data in three ways. You can fetch an events table through a MySQL report database connection. You can fetch the events data you searched in Logger as a Logger search query. You can fetch data from ArcSight Investigate using the Investigate database connection. Let's choose MySQL report DB as the connection and design the query object. In Table, you can see the pre-built events table. You can select the fields you want to bring, and you can continue to edit the query as needed. If you want to fetch all the fields, check the box next to the asterisk. If you want to fetch specific fields, check the boxes against those fields. I'll fetch the complete table for your reference. In the WHERE clause, you can specify if you want to fetch specific records. In GROUP BY, you can group the records based on fields. With ORDER BY, you can specify how you want your data to be sorted. Alternatively, you can write your own SQL conditions in the EDIT tab. Take a look at the results to make sure your query is showing the appropriate data. Let me show you how to create logger search queries in the logger portal. I'm opening a classic search from the Analyze tab. With classic search, you can search for events in simple English. Let's say I want to see the errors that occurred in my network for the last 30 minutes. I can simply write error in the search box, specify the time period, and pull up the desired records like this. When I choose to save this search, I can either save this as a filter or as a saved search. Filter will only take the search keywords, whereas saved search will also save parameter values along with the search keywords. Let's save this as a saved search. In Queries, choose Logger Search Query as Connection and select Design. Here, you will be able to fetch data as a simple filter. You can also fetch a filter with other parameters as a saved search. With Field Set, you can specify a predefined customized field set to fetch only relevant fields. Let's make sure it did what we wanted. And that looks good. Let's see how the Investigate Database Connection works. With the Investigate DB connection, you can fetch data from ArcSight Investigate. First, you need to form a connection to ArcSight Investigate. To form a connection, in Administration tab, select Report Configuration. In the Investigate Connection tab, enter the required information. Once you create the connection, 
In queries, the connection list will be populated with the investigate DB value. Now I'm designing a query object with an investigate DB connection type. Choose the events table from the table option. Select the fields you want to fetch. You can edit the query here. Then you can verify the results to see if the data is what you need. Now that we have the required data with us, we can specify field properties here. A query can have multiple data source steps. Now let's look at the other transformation steps. Join helps you to join two data source inputs and offers four types of join. Inner, full outer, left outer, and right outer. Union helps you to append one data source input to another. For both of these steps, you need to specify two data source inputs. Ad hoc filters. Filter step lets you specify filter conditions and properties to make filtering easier while running reports. Lookup values. With lookup values, you can make it easier to choose values while filtering a report. Now, there is also an operator called lookup in logger, but lookup in logger and lookup values in logger reports are separate entities. Mandatory. If you check mandatory for any field, it implies that any reports using this query object must apply a filter on the selected field. Hide. To hide any field from filter search, check hide. With the sort step, you can specify sorting criteria to sort data with different fields. For instance, if I want to sort my data by the name field in ascending order, and then by agent type in ascending order, this is how I do it. The formula fields step enables you to add calculated fields populated at runtime. These calculated fields are generally based on existing fields. You can also write your own JavaScript based calculations and formulas here. Dynamic fields add fields to, or remove fields from, a query object at runtime. Dynamic fields can be added by pivoting data from a single data source, or dynamically fetching metadata for field properties. The external tasks enable you to call standard and custom third-party processes. Logger reports provide several pre-configured external tasks. With the Data Science Engine step, you can perform statistical computing on your security data. This enables you to identify correlations and patterns in your data and perform predictive analysis based on your findings. As an FYI, watch out for our upcoming demo video on the subject for more information on the Data Science Engine step. With Geographical Information System, or GIS, lookup, you can perform enhanced geographical data mapping and perform interactive geospatial analytics in the form of advanced visualizations. Keep an eye out for our upcoming video on GIS Lookup as well. Once you've transformed your data with the other steps, you can edit its properties in the Format step to shape the transformed data with your preferred properties. In the Format step, you get properties to change the caption of the field, create a hyperlink, specify the format, time zone, render as properties, and more. Let's save the query object one final time. Your query object is now ready to be used for reporting. Now, let's search for the query object we've created. Go to Explorer and type the name of the query object. So we found it right here. Right-click on the query object if you want to make some edits. Add the query object to Favorites to quickly open it through the Logger Reports homepage. Delete it if you don't want to use it anymore. That's how you create and work with queries and query objects in ArcSight's logger reports. Feel free to reach out to us if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.